there's no rubric, there's no path laid out of how you should, you should do this. And I think I'm always drawn to things that are a little risky, a little uncertain. That's kind of what continues to, to kind of, I guess, push me down this path and what I've, what I've been doing is just the, the unknown. My name is Scotty Finonger, and I'm the owner of Wildfly Productions. I, uh, I grew up actually in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I grew up spin fishing for bass, pike, walleye. That was kind of the thing there. I mean, it's the land of 10,000 lakes. And so when I moved to North Carolina in middle school, my uncle and my cousins, uh, we went fly fishing. We went up in the North Carolina mountains. It was completely different from what I was used to. I was used to just fishing in a pond, fishing in a lake, fishing with big heavy you know, line, big spin gear. And we went to a stream and there's there trout in the stream. And I, I don't think I'd ever seen a trout before. And the water was moving and it was just, there was uh, the whole atmosphere was just so cool. I found out it was really hard. And uh, <laughs> there was a lot that was gonna go into learning how to become good at this thing. Damn. And I think a part of it was just the shared experience of being with people who I consider, you know, really important to me. It just kind of evolved from there. You know, anytime we had an open weekend, we would get up really early, 5 a.m., drive up to the mountains. From an early age, I was always into like creating stuff, building stuff. That translated into my just kind of curiosity with video. This is the reality of uh, getting the shots, baby. I think just that act of putting together the project was, uh, was something that I was really interested in. But I, I was having so much fun with fly fishing, and it seemed like it was just one of those things that not many people did in my school. None of my friends fly fished. I didn't know many people that fly fished. It was kind of just our own little thing. Oh yeah, it's good fish. Good fish. Oh, that was so sick, dude. Oh, let's go. Dude, that's a thick brown. And so, being able to, to film that and show my friends and show my family what we were up to, why we were driving two hours and getting up at 5 a.m. on a Saturday was, was kind of fun. And it just kind of escalated from there. And uh, over the years, it's, just, it's turned into now what I'm, what I'm doing today, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was sick. Dude, he sharked it. One of the most unique aspects about this type of work that I do and I'm able to do with filming fly fishing videos is it's combining two things that I absolutely love. One, I think it's really important that I got into fly fishing before I was introduced to, to any sort of documenting, any sort of video or taking photos. And I truly loved fly fishing, I still do. It's probably my favorite thing to do. You know, fly fishing is, is a huge part of my life. And so I think because I loved it so much and I was so into it, um, and I cared so much about it, I think that just made creating the videos that much easier. It didn't, it wasn't forced, it wasn't like I was trying to come up with something, some story or some skit that was that was not real. Is fly fishing is just so real. And so the films that we were producing, they were just kind of showing what we were doing. And some videos were good, some videos were not as good. It's been seven, eight years now that I've been doing this, maybe longer. And it's taken a lot to get to where I am, and I still have so far to go. But I think something that I wish I knew when I, when I was younger, that I heard from a guy I really look up to named Casey Neistat. He broke it down so simply, but you've, you're here and you, you have a goal and you're trying to reach, you're trying to get, get to here. And I think when you're starting out, you just want to get there so quickly. Right? You just you see all these people on social media, you see all these people making these amazing films, and you just want to do that right away. And that's what I thought when I was younger. I was just like, I want to make those banger films that I'm seeing, that I'm super inspired by. But there's all of this work in the middle that you have to have to put in to get to this your goal, your end goal. That you really, there's no shortcuts, it's not, there's no gimmicks, there's no rubric, there's no path laid out of how you should you should do this. And I think I'm always drawn to things that are a little risky, a little uncertain. And 
that is, that kind of what continues to, to kind of, I guess, push me down this path and what I've, what I've been doing is just the, the unknown. I guess the more, the more times you can put yourself in like situations of uncertainty that kind of challenge you a little bit, the more you'll grow and the more confidence you gain, kind of pushing through that and getting through that experience. And I think this is a perfect example, of this trip that we're doing is we're out here in the Great Plains, we're fishing some streams that, that you've fished before, but we're also going to be fishing some, some new stuff. You know, it's, it's a hot part of the year. You know, we don't really know what to expect. We hadn't been over here. I've never been over here. You've been over here, but it's been a while. It's been like over a year since you've been here. Kind of that unknown is, is a huge pull as fly fishermen, as it, just wanting to adventure and explore the outdoors. And so that's the same with the filmmaking. You know, looking back two, three years, I, I didn't know where I would be right now. You know, there's no way to predict that. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next three to five years. One of the big motivators for me now with, with the films that I produce and just, just going out to explore in general is just all the things that I've also learned through fly fishing um, about life, about camaraderie, about being uh, you know, a good sport. There's all these really important values that you can take from fly fishing. It can kind of put you down a path that can lead you to a very healthy lifestyle, a very fulfilling lifestyle, and uh, you can meet some of the most amazing people. I mean, we're sitting here together in freaking Great Plains, Montana, because of fly fishing, because of our filmmaking. You know, how, how, how crazy is that, you know? That's just kind of a huge motivator for what I do and just to continue to kind of push the limits and, and grow as an angler and explore new places, just see more of the world through fly fishing because I personally haven't found it another way that's as fun and as unique as fly fishing. And so we're just getting started, you know? We've barely seen anything. No way. It's a rattlesnake right there. Let's uh back off. That's a rattlesnake. <laughs> Holy <laughs> He was not happy. Yeah, that's sketch. He was he came like right at us. <laughs>